Welcome back. There's a new book for all ages called When Things Aren't Going Right, Go Left. <laughs> it's a much needed message of strength and perseverance for readers, young and old, during these challenging times. It's a creative and colorful reminder that we can always navigate around life's burdens and forge our own path. And this morning, we get to hear from the author, Mark Cola Giovanni, and illustrator Peter H. Reynolds. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for being here. It Whoa. is wonderful to be with you. Yes. So, Mark, this is such a powerful book for all ages. What was your inspiration? Uh, the inspiration was my children. Um, they inspire me every day. Uh, but specifically during the pandemic, uh, when I witnessed the struggles they had with the distance learning portion of it, um, I never realized until then how uh, deeply uh, children could uh, express fears and doubts, frustrations, worries. Um, and while it was uh, heartbreaking to watch, it was also very uh, helpful and eye-opening as a parent. Uh, I think that speaks volumes about like just showing that much attention to your kids. Cause I think you're right. Sometimes we just think, you know, kids don't have these such, you know, big emotions, <laughs> but just showing that you're tuned into that, I think is beautiful. Now, Peter, with over 80 books uh, to your credit, what was it about Mark's manuscript that really spoke to you? Uh, I fell in love with it the first few words I started reading. And by the time I, I finished, I was teary eyed. And I said, I'm like, I, this is an important book. This is a book that's going to heal people. It definitely spoke to me. I, my favorite picture books are ones that kids can enjoy, but also adults can enjoy because, you know, truth be told, we adults still, <laughs> we're all works in progress. We need to be reminded to be, to be brave, to be persistent, to keep going, to follow our dreams. And this book has all of that. And I, I started making a little movie in my head as I read the words and you're seeing the images. This is what was actually in my head. And I just quickly grabbed my pen and my paintbrushes and started uh, re recording it on paper. And uh, I, I am just thrilled about this book. I think it's a, it's a, a, it's a book that all of us need. Absolutely. I, I love it. I had a chance to read it. <laughs> and I, I think the illustrations are wonderful. The message is wonderful. Mark, how did you two kind of like meet up and ultimately collaborate? Well, it was uh, serendipity <laughs> is, is what it was. Um, Peter lives in Dedham, Massachusetts, uh, and he has a beautiful bookstore there called the Blue Bunny Bookstore. Um, and my aunt lives in Dedham as well. And she's my number one fan. So <laughs> She entered Peter's bookstore and uh, demanded he meet me uh, very politely. And uh, he very graciously said yes. And um, it just kind of all took yeah. off from there. So one day he came in uh, with a little folder of some poems and we had a coffee together. And by the time we finished talking, we were best friends. I said, I love the way your brain works. I love these stories. Uh, he wrote them for his daughters. and. It, you could tell it, it's every all of his words have heart, and I, uh, I told him I said I love your work so much. I want personally I will I will help you get your stories out there to the world. So uh, thanks to your aunt, <laughs> yes. we yeah. love her. <laughs> we all need a pushy family member like that, right? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. We do. do. We do. Something. Yeah, and making somebody else respond to it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple of those I can rely on. <laughs> now, really quick, before we go, tell me about your next publishing collaboration, because this is not all from you guys. That is true. That Our first conversation in the bookstore, uh, Mark shared a story called Refle uh, The Reflection in Me, which I told Mark, I said, a book is one way to share, what, but an uh, animated film would be another way. So we made an animated film. You can find it on YouTube, The Reflection in Me beautiful story and uh so that actually will be our next yeah. picture book project from yeah. scholastic i love yeah. that well you guys gotta come back so we can talk about that too we'll have a whole nother Please. segment <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> thank you so much to both of you for being here we really appreciate it